So it's 8 a.m. in the morning and I'm actually out of bed. It's Sunday. We've just dropped Bill off at the dog sitters. So we are officially dog free for the day. Uh, Beck's driving the T3 uh, electric van. We've got 99% as usual. It's beeping at us. And uh, we're off to play with some trikes. We've got a van load of trikes here. Big truck riding day. But first, let's head to the coffee shop. spoiled for choice for rail trails at Gippsland we've actually driven past two to get to the one that we're going to ride on today and we're not even there yet we've stopped off in Murphy North at a little coffee nook that we know and um Beck's gonna buy me a coffee you buy me a coffee yeah all right she's nice like that this cute little cafe like this A stroll in the garden with me, darling. Yes, beautiful garden. <laughs> Goddess. Successful mission. Goddess. <laughs> there you go, darling. <laughs> Okay, now we can get on with the day. <laughs> what you got there, Beck? The pesto croissant. Any good? Yes. Now I can get on with my day. <laughs> can I have some? No. <laughs> minutes further down the road. I've finished my coffee, Beck's finished her breakfast. The van's on about 65% so plenty of charge to get home later. Uh, and we're in Leangatha. We're going to start our ride today in Leangatha on the Great Southern Rail Trail, sort of picking it up here. And we're going to meet the uh, Gippsland trike riders and, um, and join them for a ride from Menion onwards to Fish Creek. So um, we're going to unload and Get started. Get started. Get yeah. on our bike. Get on the So shortly after opening the back door and unloading our trikes, we realized we left Beck's e-bike battery at home. How we solved that just doesn't make good television. So now we're at Minion with not one, but two back of Burke full suspension trikes. Beck's out on her second ride, first proper ride. Are you excited, Beck? Very excited, can't wait. <laughs> so we've got some catching up to do to meet up with the people we're riding with today. So let's get on with it.
Just a quick nature break at uh, Buffalo Station as we're heading down the Great Southern and um, while Beck's just ducked off I thought we'd just talk about what we're riding today. I'm riding the original back of Burke design, uh, build number two. So I guess it's as close as we can get to the prototype. I've been riding this about 18 months. Um, with very little changes. The 250 watt Bafang motor has been going great. The DNM suspension has been working really well. And I've just got a little 16 amp hour battery. Uh, I like the range anxiety, it makes me ride a bit further. Harder. Legendary Ortlib panniers, which I've had since I was 18, are just going on and on and on, so they'll go another round on this bike. Now we go to the new new fangle here. This is Beck's ride, which is build number six back of Burke in the uh, first production batch. And it's just some lovely refinements, really. Grub handle here for mounting up accessories, lights, and so on. Uh, folding linkage in the boom so that it can fit into your car and so on. Um, suspension ratio is different. I don't know if you can see, but we now have two spots there for the suspension so that we can actually change up. Um, we can change up, if you like, the, the um, how hard the suspension's working to make it more soft or, or more uh, or stiff, as well as adjust the struts. Um, there's lovely carbon fibre rims that we've got. Uh, why carbon fibre rims on a suspension off-road trike? Well, it reduces the unsprung mass and actually improves the suspension performance and obviously makes the bike a bit more efficient as well. Um, bex has got the brand new outlet pannier bags as opposed to the 20 year old ones which are, um, are going really well here. Um, look great obviously colour wise, they've got some new colours. And she's running uh, 1142 cassette, a little bit more gear range than what I've got. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Anything I missed, Beck? Having fun. <laughs> first impressions. This is probably your first, I guess, ride without just round, rather than just round the block. Compared to your trike you had before, what do you what do you got? Smooth. Really loves the suspension. Um, fast as well. Uh, first electric bike too, so can keep up with you now. <laughs> <laughs> you know more powering off on me. Yep. Um, yeah, really, really smooth, really strong. Yeah. Really enjoying it so far. So can't wait to do some more testing and riding. Yeah. We still haven't caught the group yet, so we better go. Now it's probably a good thing that YouTube doesn't have smell. I mean most of the time it's a bad thing but right here and now we're surrounded by wattle blossom and it's like walking into a florist right now. The smell of the trail is just beautiful and um, 
we we'll slow down a little bit just to enjoy it. It's quite nice. So Beck's going through her, I guess, her intermediate phase of riding full suspension. Um, what's the biggest stick you've ridden over now, Beck? <laughs> you tell me, did it hit you? Yeah, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying the, the motion of just riding over everything and anything that uh, is in my way. And also enjoying just the fresh air. It's kind of weird, after a while you stop trying to dodge things and you just sort of point the bike wherever you want to go which sort of gives you maybe a false sense of security but I'm going on 18 months and I haven't crashed mine yet <laughs> Come on, be animated. Yeah. Be animated. Yeah. <laughs> the slow cat. Yeah, right, eh? <laughs> <Hi. laughs> <Hi, mate. laughs> I kind of feel like I've got to up my game. <laughs> Such a princess, always. Here's <laughs> a, a bit of a catalogue. These, these bikes are about 20 years apart. Look at that. Lovely old 20 G uh, Green Speed GD3 and Gran Turismo Open Territrike. It's pretty cool. Both oh, do the job. Well, How are you, mate? Love the shoes. Thanks, mate. They're pretty bright, aren't they? What do you reckon? Oh, they're great. <laughs> Matt's good against a black. Yeah, yeah. Well, they wave it around in the wind. It means I don't get don't get run over, mate. <laughs> so the beat runs the big tyres here. You can see he likes the suspension element of that. Helps him along on the trails. Wouldn't be a trike ride without a green speed magnum. This is Gaz's. Gaz has only got one, one functioning hand, so you can see all these controls are on one side there. He's got his everything set up. It's pretty standard green speed magnum, so you can see how they normally come. It's a bike I built for David about four months ago. It's kind of a little bit green speed, a little bit tri sled, a little bit whatever he wanted. There's a video on the channel about this one. Check it out. And this is Beck's new rig, which we're all drooling over. <laughs> the trouble is, when you build your partner a really cool bike, you have to build yourself another new bike. So, you know, this is happening. So. <laughs> it's got suspension too, has it been? Yeah mate, so um, you can see it's... Uh, if you have a look down, you'll see the two oh, struts yeah, down yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Got an all important throttle. What throttle? We don't talk about throttles around here. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Beck found the throttle getting here, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> nice rig. So. Yeah, the colour scheme's good. The woman starts there, isn't it? Don't you reckon? Like, just, yeah, the sets off pretty nice, I reckon. So. The uh, Great Southern Rail Trail is probably one of the best places in Australia to ride a recumbent trike. Um, there's maps all the way, like this one, showing you all the gradients and the distances. Um, 
loads of places with shelters like this where you can stop and have snacks even have a nap if you wanted um, and of course really great toilet facilities it's it's pretty awesome you can just sort of work your way along and do as much as you or as little as you want um, we're at Gippsland Trike Riders today, as I said, our little group, and we only do about 30 k's with the, as a group, but everyone here is probably coming from different places and rides a bit more. But the idea is it's super inclusive, and uh, even if you're starting out, you can come have a go with us. The Gippsland Pirate, <laughs> always hiding his identity. The rail trails are no longer safe. is the biggest wombat hole I've ever seen and it's right beside the rail trail. That's like 50 centimeters tall. It is massive. <laughs> Pub.
What? How's your pizza, Morgan? It's awesome. <laughs> The trail side at the Elf Fitness Centre. We've asked the Elf to come out and speak to us and see what he thinks of the back of Burke trike, but thus far we've knocked on the door several times. Mr. Elf, are you there? Mr. Elf. He's declined to comment. As with all cycling journalists, unless there's a free bike in it, they're not going to say nice things about your bike, are they? Mr. Elf. The jungle's strong as he can be. Oh, 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 oh! Watch out for that tree!
that probably concludes today's nonsense. What do you reckon? Yeah, it was pretty fun. If you got this far, you probably liked what we did. So, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about us. And uh, follow the link below to buy me a coffee because I like coffee. <laughs> and uh, if you want to come for a ride with us, uh, follow Gippsland Trike Riders on Facebook and get updates on when we ride. We generally ride like once a month. Um, fun crew, nothing too precious. Just get out and have a go. And you can try some of our new toys as well while you're here if you want. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers! Cheers.